Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is part three of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Um, and this part is the Cyber Controller, the Age of Steel, and it's another tenth Doctor story as we all know. Okay, contents. Cyber Controller, all about it. Keeping Control, this is about Russell T. Davis. Year by year, 1964. Doctor in the Universe, the Time Lords. The big asked, your questions answered, and the people who, Douglas Adams. Okay, so that's what you get inside. And on the back, part four, or issue four, is the Weeping Angel, and that will be an 11th Doctor story. So, here's the figurine in his little base. Cyber Controller, Age of Steel, 10th Doctor, Doctor Who logo, legal BBC garb, trademarks and stuff. I'm going to get them out for you so we can have a look at this figure. Here he is. I'll just turn him around so you guys can get a good view. See it? Close up. I really like the paint job on top of his head. That's really nicely done. He's not as weighty as Matt Smith, and he's not as weighty as Davros, obviously, which is interesting considering that, you know, he's a Cyberman and all. It, yeah. That's like him from above. So yeah, I'm really happy with these figures. Let's see if we just get them back in. There we go. So that's that, and they came together. I got part two, or issue two, and part three, issue three, together. Uh, there's my subscription um, part one and my bought one because I bought an extra one and I also got this binder and this is the binder that you get it's really nice it is a bit fiddly but I think the design on it is lovely lovely sort of TARDIS on the front BBC.2 figurine collection nice and slick Nice and sophisticated. Nothing sort of kiddie or childlike about it at all, really, which is really nice. Got Dot Who BBC logo on there, and then Dot Who BBC logo there. I'll open it up, and you do have the new TARDIS interior there. And you have to put these um, little pegs in. You like have to unclip this. The pegs are there. You break the pegs off. You put the pegs in there, and you close it like that. And then you open your magazine in the centre, and you put a peg there and a peg at the top. And it's exactly the same. So those come out, and that's that really. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. It's been pretty prompt. They've been pretty good, as a little figurine collection goes. I think this collection is going to be one of their best things that um, they've ever done, considering it is the 50th anniversary year. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. So far, subscribe, comment. You, got, you can disagree with me. But overall, I do think that the aliens are and monsters are going to be better painted than the human figures but human figures are always difficult they always have been they always will be it's like these two this is the one that i bought in the shop he's got a bigger face it's a fuller face whereas this is the one i got with my subscription which i haven't opened and just look at his face it's really really thin and pointed. I know Matt Smith, bless him, has got an unusual 
the large head but this one is more in proportion and this one is just weird really weird and his eyes are a bit dodgy on that one whereas they aren't on this one so I'm so glad that I actually bought a second one because um, it's only 2 99 the first issue anyway so after that they are a little bit more pricey well they are for me because I'm premium subscription but uh, so yeah um, that's it so check out my vids bye